Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, through the weekend, since Friday, there's been a rollout going on of the new Microsoft Edge stable version. So Edge version 96 is now available. Mine has updated today on my Windows 10 machine. It has already updated through the weekend on my Windows 11 machine. So whether you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, uh, everybody is getting the latest Edge browser. To see if you have the latest, just go to Edge, go on the upper right corner in the three dots, go down to Help and Feedback and About Microsoft Edge. So Edge 96 is here. What does it bring? A lot of under the hood features for developers, a lot of improvements on the Internet Explorer or IE mode compatibility also. So if there were some little glitches or things that were not quite working really well, try it again. There's some new stuff in there that is actually working. Um, in here, you now have, of course, more options. Microsoft is really pushing hard on all the options about, um, you know, shopping and about coupons and all sorts of things. And it's even adding in here the uh, fact that you might have some uh, Microsoft rewards uh, that actually show up. And so if you go and purchase stuff and you could purchase something with your Microsoft rewards points, it's going to work. Uh, I'm not fond of all of that, you know, thing of, of going on with the shopping stuff in Edge. I find it kind of a little uh, something that shouldn't be really there. Although, you know what, um, as I go through buying stuff on Amazon and everywhere, I always get this, oh, by the way, you can have $10 off this or $20 off that. or It's like, yeah, okay, it's saving me money. I, I get it. But I don't know. It's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, to see. Um, there's also uh, improvements in PDF inking. So if you uh, are, of course, using the inking capabilities on PDFs, you will have a um, some updates and some better inking capabilities added to uh, the, you know, the possibility of actually writing or drawing or adding text on on a PDF if you want. So this is something that is being tweaked all the time. I uh, got to say, Edge, for one thing, is one of the best PDF readers for me. Um, I don't use anything else. You don't need Adobe Reader. Uh, the PDF capabilities in Edge are just so good that um, I personally find that no extra PDF software is needed to uh, do pretty much anything. So uh, this is kind of cool, though. For, for that, it's really, really, really uh, cool. What else do we have? You uh, also have the password manager that, you know, we uh, have security and, and edge with the password manager. Uh, the password manager, actually, in the uh, security uh, is now going to um, offer you when you are in a website and Microsoft Edge this sees that one of your passwords has been compromised, and it knows because it goes to uh, I've 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 uh, you been pawned website to check out. Uh, what happens is it's actually going to offer you to go directly here to the passwords manager, and there you can just change the password from there or use the one that it's going to actually suggest, and everything's going to be updated. You don't have to go to the website, you don't have to do a million things. It's all done automatically within the the browser, which is kind of nice and really simplifies the process of, you know, passwords and, and security in general. So apart, apart from that, uh, one of the things that has been going under the radar, Microsoft says that with each passing new version of Edge, uh, battery life is extended. So if you have laptops or tablets, use edge uh, technically battery life should be extended they are really working hard to make edge um, go and use the minimum amount of resources on your pc so um, this is something that's tough to verify but apparently it's the best browser for battery life that's what microsoft says 
So that's pretty much it. There are some security updates, and we're going to do a video for the security updates uh, because I like to do it separately so that people don't care about features. Might actually update and be at least care about the fact that there are security flaws, and we're going to talk about those in the next video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and remember, you can update upper right corner, help in feedback, and it should do it automatically, by the way, and about Microsoft Edge. If you don't do nothing, at some point, you'll see that it updates to version 96.0.1054.29 as of today, November the 22nd, 2021. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.